Good day, guys. Bing here. Today I'm going to talk about um, so this is model in place sweep. I'm going to talk about the difference. Uh, quickly talk about the difference between uh, sketch path and pick path. Okay. So okay. So first, let me just cancel all this. So this is the project. Okay. So it's a empty project. So what I'm going to do is I'll draw some wall W A. And also, I'll just place a roof on top of it. Okay, so finish, attach, go 3D view. So this is my, uh, our building. Okay, so now go to architecture component model in place. I'm going to just uh, make a generic model. And okay, go to go to create sweep and. Okay, so first let's let's have a look of the sketch path. So if you use sketch path, you can only uh, draw draw the path in the uh, in one world plan. So you will see the current world plan is the level, so ground floor level, so which is this. So anything I draw, so for example, I'll just even I pick uh, anything on the roof on the wall. So all these sketch path. For this part will be uh, will be uh, will be drawing the the uh, ground floor plan. Okay, so and also if I draw continue draw draw anything there, so it's all a flat plan, so it will be two dimensional. And then once I finish this one, so we can just pick. A, so let let me just uh, quick pick a profile, or you can. You can draw. You can go select profile, or actually, you can go change this one to by sketch, and then you can then edit profile. So you can draw any profile you like. Finish it, and so this is a sweep. Okay, so it's a sweep use um, sketch path. So now let, let me just move it away. Okay, let's start another one. So create sweep. So this time let's use sketch path. So if you use sketch path, you can pick pick the edge of the any geometry. So, for example, I can pick we can pick a wall and pick uh, this this horizontal. Just make sure because you can't have um, you two separate uh, sketch line, so they need to be. So you can just drag this to meet this one, or you can use trim tr trim, and then you can also. Um, Continue pick 3D edge. So for example, I'll just you can change directions. So it doesn't need to be in one plan. You can go anywhere you like. See, you can go on the roof as well. I'll go back there, go there. Okay. So once you finish, and you can uh, I'm going this time. I'm going to pick a profile. So for example, this one finish, finish. Uh, where is it? Oh. Oh, sorry, it's too small. <laughs> so this is it. Um, yeah, maybe I'll change change it. Use a select profile, and maybe we can use a bigger one. Um, I don't know. Maybe this one. Oh no, no, that's not big enough. Um, not too big. It will break. Ah, see. Because we have a little, maybe uh, because of little um, path, and then when you have a big profile, you will have some issue. So I'll just use 50 by 50. Yeah, that's it. So this is a, a sweep uh, using pick path. Okay. So okay, so that's it. The difference, um, the sketch path. So you can. And also remember when you well, after you finish one, so edit in place, so it can all only be so if I go edit sweep, so this, if you create this one use sketch pass, it will always be sketch pass. You won't be able to change it. Okay, so always you can uh, if you place uh, create a sketch uh, use uh, sorry using sketch path, you won't be able to make it uh, go uh, three dimensional. So it's always uh, two-dimensional and if same if you use sketch uh, pick path so for example this one and uh, if you go back to edit it 
So you can only use pick path again. You won't be able to sketch path. Okay. And yeah, that's that, that's the difference. So now I'm going to show you a little example of um, how to use a pick path to create some geometry, um, which um, oh, actually um, I'm going to create so I uh, recently I create a railing uh, which is it's a very simple one but it's three-dimensional so um, uh, I'm gonna show you okay so um, first it's uh, it looks like I'll just do it or well, actually I'll just draw I'll do a, a stair case an L shape L shape okay and finish and once I finish this one, so we'll, we'll automatically create a railing. So this is actually what a shape I want to do. So um, some t um, sometimes it's quite easy to create a railing. So if I so imagine, uh, I'll just get rid of the blast balusters. I go to baluster placement. I'll just change this to none, 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 none. Apply. Okay, apply. Oh, and also uh, need to change this one to now. Oh, which one? This one. Uncheck this one. <laughs> and okay, so now we only have this handrail. Okay, top rail. So it's quite some. Most of the time, it's quite easy to use handrail for, you know. Um, but sometimes when we need to so make it more interesting or you know uh, it's it's quite hard to to adjust it and it's probably easier to use model in place so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to create this use um use um sweep um use model in place sweep and i'm going to use pick uh pick sketch Oh, sorry, pick path because only pick path uh, uh, we can create a 3D three D uh, sweep. Okay, so now what, let's go to first we we'll go to um, floor plan. Okay, so go to floor plan. So I'm going to just follow this shape. So, um, but instead I'm not going to pick line onto the pick use um, pick um, edge. Or pick path on this. So I'm going to use um, reference line first. So to create this one, so let's have a look. So I'm going to actually just I'll just do a screenshot of this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, something like this. So maybe go down onto the floor and go here so maybe i'll make it curved maybe this is curved as well and then go maybe go make it curved and go here and also this will be a little curved and go down and i want it to go curve go straight down maybe go back to there so what i want to create is this geometry so it will be um a sweep and it will uh, will be one one single um, sweep so if, so what we need is we need some line or um, either model line or reference lines um, but we need to have, have some reference plans so first one it will be this so imagine this to here so this is the first uh, reference plan so all these parts will be here and then this one this arc this arc cannot be uh, sitting here because um, it will be a horizontal plan so it will be um, I think something like like this okay so this plan so 
and then once again from here to here so once again need I need to be a, a vertical work plan again so it will be something like this All right so this is horizontal this is vertical and this is vertical yep. okay so now let's go to uh, Revit so first I'm going to just go uh, go to floor plan and use reference plan okay so RP and draw three reference plans so uh, actually draw two reference plans because we can only draw a vertical reference plan in plan view so okay so two vertical work plan and then go to elevation so we need let's just uh, let me just uh, get rid of this okay so go to south elevation and see this handrail we need another work plan so this time it will be horizontal work plan and to make it easier I'm going to just name this so this one will be H and go to plan view so this one will be vertical V1 um, this one will be V2 okay so now we can go back to um, 3D view let's start so go to so actually I'm going to um, delete this one to make it a little bit harder for us okay so and I'll only use this stairs as a reference so I know um, what level I need so for example I need to one meter from this landing and yeah okay so go create a model in place and I was just use generic model okay so now we need something to pick path right so it can be model line or reference line so the difference between model line and reference line is model line you can see them and the reference line you won't be able to see them uh, in the project but you can see them in family so let's just use model uh, reference line okay so first we need to draw something uh, oh, oh sorry we need to, actually we need to set a work plan first so you will see we're uh, currently it's in ground floor which is not correct so go create set a work plan and here you can change because we named all the reference plans so we can pick one so I'm going to pick the vertical one first which is this okay so this vertical one and okay so now if you actually if you click on this show show work plan so you will see this blue color so this is the work plan now we can create a reference line so I'm going to create a reference line so actually I'm going to just draw a line from this corner to this corner and then I'll just go to the front and I just move it up for example uh, we need to move it up by 900 so this will be the height of the railing and then so same in this view so in this view we can continue create uh, more reference lines so for example I want this to go up to here so I just trim and maybe I want it to go a little bit further so maybe go a little bit further maybe 300 and come down onto the floor level and go back something like that okay and also we can go reference line and use this fillet arc so for example I'll just fill it 100 maybe let's try this yeah um, change to 50 maybe okay so I'll try this 100 looks okay this one maybe I'll make it 50 and that's it so this will be all good and then of course the here 
so we need another one so landing I'm going to make it so this is landing and I'll just move it up by 100 oh sorry one one meter and trim and let's create reference line fillet um, let's try 100 I think it's all good um, maybe drag this back a little bit um, yeah okay so this is it so let's go rotate it so this is um, this part of uh, reference lines now we need to go back to set work plan and change it to horizontal and okay so now you will see now we are drawing or uh, we are uh, placing all these reference lines in the horizontal work plan or oh, actually I think it's wrong so we, we uh, oh is it right let's have a look I think it's not right go to south elevation uh, the horizontal reference reference plans being here so why oh so our oh, previous previous um, railing is at this height so maybe um, actually I wanted to adjust it to here mm, because if I uh, uh, if I finish this one this uh, model in place will be invisible because only there's only uh, reference lines there so what I'm going to do is I'll just create a model line so now I can finish this model so we can still see it here okay so there so I just want to go to south elevation and adjust this um, reference plan to one meter above this landing so I'll just do a dimension from this landing and change it to one meter oh good now I can delete this dimension and go back to 3d view select this model line which is the model in place uh, family so edit now we can delete this model line we can continue so currently the work plans are on this horizontal work plan so we can continue create reference line and then I'm going to just go to the top view and we can draw draw this line so start from this point and and um, hang on. Uh, maybe I'll just draw this one and then because we need to know where this vertical reference plan is so I'm going to go create set work plan change it to v2 okay and rotate this one so this because this is 3d view so we can rotate it and then we can play we can place another reference line I'm going to pick line picked on this landing and just go to left MV go up one meter okay so because I know this is where the horizontal uh, reference plan reference uh, reference plan is and also match this height so now we can just drag this back and you can go create set to a plan to horizontal again but I'll, you will notice that if I try to trim them uh, it's okay but let's try to um, go to a reference line trying to fill it see if it works see it won't work because to fill it to use this tool to use this tool both this line and this line both both lines need to be in one same work plan so currently this one is in the vertical work plan this one is in the horizontal work plan it won't work okay so this tool um, this filler tool it won't work you won't be able to pick this one so what I'm we're going to do is drag this back so just leave it here create another reference line so this time just draw it back and then we can use fillet because these two they are all in the same um, reference plan so I'm going to just 
Yeah, I think it's good. Maybe 100. Okay. So this one looks like. How about make it 200? Um, all good. All good. 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 And then we just need to change back to vertical to B2 and create another reference line. So once again, I'm going to draw this from this point. So in a corner, corner of this in a steps and move it up by 900. Okay, and then we can just trim these two and also we can use the fillet tool. Uh, maybe I'll just use 100. All good. Maybe make it 200. So continue another one. So we can use pick, pick, face, pick this face, trim, and once again use that fillet tool. I'll make 100. And um, yeah, depending on how you wanna to maybe maybe we can just do something uh, more interesting. So. For example, this one, I'll go copy this up by 100, sorry, 1 meter, and train, you can go forward, and it can come back. So, okay, so something like that. Okay, so, and then let's just trim them to 100. 100, maybe all this one's two, make it 200. Okay, so, okay, so these are all the, um, all the reference lines we need, so we can pick, pick path. Okay, so now we can create, swipe, pick path, and then let's just try, I'll see if I can, oh, can't use tab. That's fine. So I'll just pick this one first, and then pick all these um, reference lines. And then create, uh, maybe I'll just, let's just pick a profile. Okay, so yeah finish and finish and that's it so you will see this is one single um, sweep and and um, yeah it if you need to if you need to adjust it so you actually let me just go let me H H. Okay, so select this model. So, if you wanted to adjust it, you can. Um, as long as you don't break break them, you can actually you can just move them. Or uh, you you can increase the height, but just make sure you do not break. So H R. So you will see this. Um, the railing will follow. Okay, so let me just try to select the reference line. So, for example, you can move. Okay, try this one. Go up. Yeah. Um, this one will be a little bit tricky because it can only move horizontal, and then once you move, you will break that. Break. Break. Um, yeah. Uh, let's try. Try to change it. Change the arc. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Um. So this is for today. Um, modeling place sweep using pick path. Have a have a have a try yourself. Um. Once you understand, I think it, it can be quite useful. 
Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any question, please let me know. Okay, thank you. Bye.